Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly reading for week commencing 31st of December 2018 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I hope you are Aries. So here are the cards. We have the Tower, the Fool, the Nine of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Chariot, the Devil and the Empress. A lot of major arcana. And I've also pulled an Angel Romance card and an Angel and Ancestors Oracle card for further clarification. <clears throat> so let's start with the Tower. So the Tower is a structure, it can be old beliefs, it can be where you might have felt comfortable but it might not be progressing. And this is where the universe strikes the Tower down and raises it to the ground because it's saying that you're meant for so much more. Now, this might be something that you've already experienced, Aries. And it is about your old beliefs, your old systems, your old way of doing things, your old perspectives. Maybe the mind, the way that you see things in your world. Maybe it's asking you to think differently or bigger. You see these people, how in proportion to the tower, they're actually larger than life. This is saying that you've outgrown where you are. And though it might be painful and it might be a difficult transition and it might be challenging at times, this is meant to be, this heralds in a start of something new, exciting, prosperous. But while the walls are closed off like this, stuck in the old way of doing things. The universe can't bring good fortune, prosperity, abundance, happiness, love to you. So it needs to come down. And the tower is square. And you see the crown at the top is round. And this is saying that this never really fit you anyway, or it certainly doesn't fit you anymore. So it's time for change. And maybe this is something that you've been through, Aries. Maybe this is something that you've been through in the last few weeks, months. It could have been years. But no, that is ending. It is ending because I kind of think for some of you, you have been on that journey. And you have been in the dark. Yeah, maybe through some dark times. Maybe confusion difficulty, trying to overcome obstacles, being stressed, being pressured, not being able to move forward because every time you move forward, it's almost like two steps forward, three steps back. But this is the herald of a new time. It's a new start for you. And I think I kind of picked that up last week in the reading. This is a fresh new outlook. You're leaving old baggage behind, and that's exactly what the tower is saying. It's time for change. Leave old baggage behind and look forward with optimism. And this is the universe. This is the universe shining down on you. Pushing you forward to new adventures. And that could be in business. It could be in love. It could be on projects, it could be to do with money. But it's saying that you're meant for so much more than this and you've got so much more to learn. And every time we complete a cycle, you know, because this is the start of a new cycle, every time we complete a cycle, we raise our vibration that bit more, we learn that bit more, we become more experienced, more worldly wise. So things that could hurt us in the past we're more capable of dealing with in the future and we can see things coming. There's a real connection between Aries and the divine here. And, you know, I, I just want you to remember that however difficult things have been, you know, things are getting better for you, certainly some of you anyway. The Nine of Wands, this is about perseverance and I'm sure that you have had to persevere. 
This is where you've had to stand your ground. This is where you've had to push forward, even though you were tired, you were fed up, and you question whether you could actually achieve the 10, the completion. But you are getting there. You are getting there because you've got a new beginning starting. This is, this is um, point zero. This is zero. This is a new cycle. And I just think that this can mean, it can talk about relationships, it can talk about giving and receiving to somebody else, it can talk about soulmate energy, the fact that two becomes one with a caduceus. But I also think this is about you coming back to you. I think this is you having self-love again. I think this has brought a new awareness, a new recognition, a new emotional stability within you. And I just feel that this is where you're beginning to be more aware of what you're capable of now. And there's a real self-love, there's a real emotional stability. There's a real groundedness, there's a, an emotional core, um, an emotional centre that you've mastered. And you know, when you actually become stable on the inside, you can project that on the external world and that's what you're doing. And I think, you know, it's funny how these work out. So the tower comes in. I think some of you were under the influence of the devil, you know, symbolically. Maybe you felt you were in chains. Maybe you felt you were worth more than what you were getting, whether it's in a relationship um, or business career. You were giving your power away. There's some addiction involved here as well, so some of you may well have been under the influence of addictions. And the tower has come in because it's saying you're meant for so much more than giving your power away. You need to recognise your power on your own two feet. It's your life and you need to walk it in your way. And that's what you do. This is a shift. And it's right under the fool. And again, you see the, the two backgrounds. This is gold, this is gold. This is almost like divine inspiration helping you. This is happiness, this is positivity. The chariot, actually, is about... It can, it's about forward movement, seeing your goal in sight. This chariot has a journey behind him. And they've overcome obstacles, difficult situations to get to this point. But now there's a release, a real release, a real belief, a real confidence, a real drive. And it's almost like, again, under the sign of the fool, you're in the driving seat now of your own life. And you're not going to be giving your power away to anybody else because you've learnt the lessons of the past. And though it's been difficult, you're more aware of your capabilities now. You're more goal-orientated. And that's what this situation has helped you understand. This gives you more clarity. And it's, it's also a mental release. It's a, a release of the mind. Because really, when you look at this physically, the two sphinxes aren't running forward. And this is actually made of stone and it sits on the ground. And this is saying that when you actually see things in a different way, when you actually release your mind, then you release obstacles and you can change and move anything to your will but it comes from within. And I said this is a change, this is a change not just from your external world, but it's a change from within. And the last card is the Empress. This is a beautiful card, it's a card of creation, certainly a card of um, abundance, success, being in tune 
to understand that you've had a spiritual journey, an emotional journey, and a physical journey to get to where you are, but it is releasing. And again, like the fool at the beginning, this is the seed of inspiration. This is the seed of creativity. She can create what she wants to make her life better. She's the catalyst. She can attract abundance, wealth, prosperity, love. Because she is the creator. She is a real creative energy. Forward movement, very powerful. And it's saying that's what you are now. That's what you are. So the Angel Romance card is trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And I think you do. There is trust here. There is trust here. And there is a shift. There is a, a shift of the mind, a shift of maybe in your physical world, certainly with the chariot, where you suddenly have this great release, this shift that allows you to start this new journey with positivity, with no baggage. Letting go of the past. Letting go of the past. Letting go of past hurts, upsets, and certainly not giving your power away anymore. So the Angel and Ancestor Oracle card is Lady. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. That's the general message, but I'll just read that out to you. So it's reap what you have sown. Absolutely, that's what the Empress is all about. And enjoy the fruits of your labour. Grow and expand in all areas of your life. Fertility, growth and abundance are all imminent when the Lady arrives in your life. All the seeds you have planted are coming to life and there are plenty more awards to come. In a material sense, this card can represent financial security and comfort. It shows that there will be more than just to go, enough to go round. If you are making business deals or setting intentions to create financial growth, this card indicates a considerable amount of monetary success. The lady can also usher in other forms of abundance, opportunities, marriage proposals, and even the birth of a child. She will help you respect nature and connect with its forces in order to have a genuinely supported journey through life. What did I say? This is your journey and this is the support that you need to make that successful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading Aries. If you did please do like, share and subscribe and I'd just like to wish you a very happy new year and I'll see you next time. Thank you.